The Age of Absolutism describes a period of European history in which monarchs successfully gathered all of the wealth and power of the state for themselves. Spain was ruled by an absolute monarchy from the beginning of the 1400s to the end of the 1500s, and it was considered the richest state at that time. The key figures in the rise or fall of absolutism in Spain were primarily Ferdinand and Isabella. Their grandson, Charles V, and great-grandson, Philip II, also played a role in the establishment and upkeep of absolutism. Religion was also an extremely important factor in the absolute monarchy of Spain. First off, I would like to thank you for joining us today. Could you please introduce yourself to the audience? Yo, what's good? It's your boy Ferdinand II of Spain with Isabella the First. And we're coming back at you with the newest, freshest, hottest mixtape of all time. Uh, Mr. Ferdinand, sir, this is a formal interview that will be aired on NBC News. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, this is quite awkward for me. Um, I'm Ferdinand II of Spain, and this is my wife, Isabella the First. <laughs> So, how are you guys doing? How is Spain faring? Well, overall, we are doing quite well. Economically, we have gained quite a sum of money. Socially, we have spread our influence amongst the of Central and South New Land. So, how did you rise to all this power? Um, our most important and influential step towards absolutism was the expulsion of all non-Catholics from Spain. Our task force assigned to investigate claims of other religions being practiced was called the Spanish Inquisition. By establishing the Spanish Inquisition, we took the most crucial movements in Spanish history towards total control over Spain. Most of Spain's wealth came from stealing from the captured Muslim caliphates who had previously controlled Spain as we had completed the Reconquista a few years previously. Spain also received significant amount of gold from Columbus adventures in the Americas in 1492. The country flourished economically during the 16th century. So what are your visions for Spain? Um, we hope that Spain can become a peaceful and orderly empire for our citizens to live in. However, we would like to maintain an air of utter control over our territories. Ideally, everyone in our empire should be Catholic. I know that Catholicism is huge in Spain, so what are your views on it? Well, they don't call us the Catholic monarch for nothing. We believe that Catholicism is the almighty religion and that everyone in our empire should practice it. This is why we made it the controversial decision to banish all Jews and Muslims from Spain. So how do you get your citizens to obey you once you're making these large radical decisions? Ooh, we get our citizens to obey us by forcing them to do things. Even though it may sound cruel, our citizens experience the utmost safety and benefits from the Spanish Empire. Finally, what makes Spain a great country? Spain is united by the great power of Christianity and God's guiding hand. Not only have we expanded through Europe, conquering nearly all lands south of the Pyrenees Mountains, we have also funded many su successful explorations. Ferdinand Magellan's expedition circumnavigated the globe, Hernando Cortez conquered the Aztecs in Mexico, and Francisco Pizarro spread Spanish power through Peru. Overall, Spain is a powerful nation with an abundance of resources. From where do you get all of your wealth? First of all, what's good? My name is Charles V. Yeah, I'm dropping a new mixtape just like my parents are. Check that out on the, um, the music forum store. I think that's where they're selling. Anyway, I get most of my wealth from taxes paid by the Spanish citizens. Ferdinand and Isabella also left me with a great amount of resources to work with, in addition to the recently discovered lands that have been a fresh source of income. How do you deal with the nobility? Like my predecessors, I rule with an iron fist. I made the order to expel all Moors, who are nomadic people from North Africa, from, from Spain as well, and I also require every noble to serve me faithfully without question. What are the most difficult aspects of leading such a great empire? The hardest parts are trying to defend Spain from foreign invaders and keeping all of my citizens and nobles in check during that period. The Muslim Ottoman Empire to the southeast is growing power, and we are constantly at war with them. Additionally, with the growing Protestant European population to the east, maintaining the enforced Catholic religion becomes more and more difficult every day. 
What are your goals for Spain? My goals are simple. Eradicate Protestantism and unite all of Spain and all of Europe under Catholicism. Ferdinand and Isabella, my great parents, started doing this in their rule, and I feel that I have to carry on their legacy. Peace out, homies. Hello, Philip. How do you maintain your role over Spain? If there is one motto that I would live by, it would be trust no one. As long as I am a ruler, no actions will ever escape my eye without suspicion. I have taken every precaution possible to ensure that my position is not challenged, including taking away the decision-making power of councils and preventing nobility from being elected to positions of power. How significant is religion in Spain? I can't stress the significance of religion enough. Achieving religious uniformity under Catholicism is one of my main goals as a ruler, and I have made countless sacrifices in order to make that happen. In particular, I have taken drastic action to aid the Catholic Church by punishing European prostitutes as well as Muslims from the East. What are your goals for Spain? Like Charles V, I hope to defend Spain from the despicable Protestant Europe to the East as well as the Muslim Ottoman Empire to the Southeast. Also, with explorations happening so frequently nowadays, I hope to support my growing overseas empire. I'm not giving away my ring. I'm not giving away my I'm a long CMR after Protestants. I probably shouldn't brag, but dad, I got convert and conquer. The truth is, I got a lot of devotion stand ready. Gotta defend the Catholic Church with every word to spread religion. I'm a diamond in the rough. A shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal. Religious uniformity, I'll get there forcefully. Only one man, but my power seems greater. We are the A B S O L U T. I S T S meant to be a government that runs autocratically. Meanwhile, people keep hating on us endlessly, essentially. The critique us relentlessly, but when things boil down, big again, I say, you ain't never gonna find no prosperity unless it's someone at the head of the monarchy. Enter me. Don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. I will use an iron fist to bring security. Eventually, you'll come to love my tyranny. And we are not giving away our reign.